Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to talk a little about filters in Angular. Now, if you remember, we used the filter before when I used this pipe filter search on our ng repeat. So filters can be more than just filtering a list of uh, objects or anything like that. We can actually use filters to modify the way that data is output, right? So we have item.name here. Well, one thing we can do here is we can say pipe, just like we had with the pipe filter search. We can actually say something like lowercase. And if you come back to our page and refresh, you'll notice that all of the text is output in lowercase. And likewise, we can also say uh, uppercase, um, if you can spell it correctly. Okay, and we refresh, everything's getting output in uppercase, right? So what kind of filters are available here? Obviously we don't, we could change this text to uppercase or lowercase with CSS, but maybe there's an instance where you wouldn't want that. For instance, maybe you were having a class, if we just had class over here, and you wanted this class to be the output of a specific value. Uh, in this instance, I'll just have it be the name because it's uh, all the data we're working with, but perhaps you have some text here and that text isn't necessarily, let me put this in a separate line so you can see it. And the text here isn't necessarily what you'd wanna have as a class name. For instance, if we refresh this and inspect this list item, you can see the class has an upper name of uh, an uppercase Ben, uppercase B and Ben, uppercase C, whatever. The first letter is uppercase because that's how we want it to be displayed normally. But as a class, you might not want it to be displayed like that. In fact, you might even want it to be something like person hyphen save refresh. And, uh, and of course you want your class to be in all lowercase. So in that instance, we can say pipe lowercase. Refresh. And now you can see that we have up here in our ng repeat, it's class person hyphen ben, all in lowercase, just like how we would want it as a class name. So this is just a small example just to get your brain working, uh, but we, we can add these pipe and then filters to do more than just the filtering, like I said. There's even something called currency, so if we, let's just do this on age because it's a number, we can say pipe currency, like so, come back to our page, refresh, and now everything is output in dollar values. Now, what kind of things can you do to modify this? Well, this is in the Angular documentation. I'll post a link to the filters documentation on their site. Uh, but as you can see, we can modify this currency. So it's not just currency. Uh, we can actually determine what type of currency it is by saying colon. And then the uh, next thing we're going to have here is quotes. Now this is going to be the actual symbol that we're going to be using. If we want to use the Japanese symbol for yen or n, depending on which pronunciation you'd like to use. And then we can go ahead and say something like, uh, we don't want any decimals after this. So to do that, you have another colon and that will give you the ability to, to specify how many decimals are listed afterwards. So if we say zero, that's going to mean zero decimals are listed afterwards and it's using the n sign or the yen sign. And as you can see, we're getting the yen sign, the yen symbol correctly. However, it's coming this this weird character here. I, I think I probably have to use the HTML entity instead of the character here. So let me put that in here. It's just ampersand Y-E-N and then a semicolon for your refresh. You'll see that weird symbol sort of gone. So we now are able to have a different currency here using this currency filter, but we didn't have to type this symbol every single time and it gets added to our data as we need it. So other filters available are uh, number, which formats a number as text, date, which uh, formats a date to a string based on the requested format. Uh, you can read about that in the documentation that I post in the comments. Uh, JSON, which converts a JSON object to a JSON string. Uh, lowercase, like we had, uppercase, limit to, uh, basically allows a limit, right? So if we put that onto our filter search here, and this will show you how to add multiple filters. We do that simply just by adding another pipe. We can say limit two, and then we can pass this a number by simply saying colon and then a number. So while we have four names in our list, if we say limit to three, and then come back here, it's only gonna give us the first three. Now, first three, you might be wondering based on what? 
Well, if you look at the names, we have Scott, Ross, and Ben. Come back to our HTML, Scott, Ross, and Ben in that order. But let's say we want to have them ordered by a certain way. Well, we can do that with filters as well. So we had in our HTML limit to three, but we want to have the three youngest. So if we have another pipe, we can say order by, and now order by is expecting a string. So we're going to say colon and then uh, single quotes and then inside of our single quotes now inside of our single quotes we can simply just put age we don't really need anything other than that we can say order this by the age and so now if we come back to our now if we come back to our page and refresh you'll notice that we have uh, Scott then Ross then Ben and if we add a minus sign in front of age like so you'll see that we're gonna get the reverse order of that saying 32 31 and 29 uh, but what you're noticing here is that the fourth name on the list, Courtney, is still missing. But we want to keep this list at three, but we want it to sort by age first. So one thing we can do is change the order of these, right? So we had order by, let me actually put this on its own line here, and then limit three, like that. What we can actually do is just swap these two, uh, leave that quote sign there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that. Now let's go ahead and put this order by age in the spot that we want it. So now it's going to sort them by age and then it's going to limit them to three. And as you'll see, and we want to remove this negative sign here so we can say age. Now when we refresh, because it's applying the sort first, then it's applying the filter of the limit, we now get Scott, Courtney, and Ross just because we changed that order. So these are all of the filters that are available, uh, but if that doesn't seem like enough for you, you can write your own filters. In fact, we're gonna go over how to write our own filters, not in the next video, but soon, because uh, writing your own folders is extremely powerful to accomplish all sorts of things. And it's not hard once you know the basics. So now you should be pretty experienced at what you can accomplish with the built-in filters. And if you're not, you can head over to the Angular page. I'm going to link in the, in the description of this video and you can check it out there. It's going to show you all the parameters that you're able to access for every single one of these filters. Awesome. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.